Hey everyone, I hope you're all well. What day is it? It's Wednesday, I think. <laughs> um, the days just seem to be whizzing by at the moment. There is so much going on. Um, all really positive, um, exciting stuff. Um, I went to a festival of happiness on Saturday. It was one of the best days I've ever had in, in you know, that type of environment where hundreds of people come together, a thousand people in fact, and listen to speakers on the stage and usually by sort of halfway through the day you are wondering what time these things are going to finish. But this one was spectacular. It was just full of inspiration and motivation and messages that hit home and made you think and I left there floating on air. It was incredible. Um, Andy Cope was one of the keynote speakers. He's endorsed my book. Um, Shanette Basson Wood, the most amazing lady, got on the stage and she completely lit up the room, the stadium or whatever it was that we were in. Um, she had a thousand people on their feet singing and dancing and it was just amazing and I can't wait to do it all again and they've got another one next year, Festival of Happiness 2019 so I am very much looking forward to um, going there and, and experiencing it all again. Um, so that happened, I'm training hard at the moment. Um, so I've decided that I will enter a kettlebell competition in October. I'm going to do a vlog about this all on its own because um, there's so much to say about it. But I've been training hard um, and it is hard. I mean, I am like aching all over like I have never ached. Um, but I can really see that it's, gonna, it's going to keep me focused and keep me motivated. So I'm excited to see what the next few months bring with that. I'm learning to swim, so I've had second swimming lesson, face properly in the water, um, learning to breathe. I was doing front crawl for the first time on Sunday, my second lesson, and face in for four strokes and then breathing off to the side. So really, I mean, you know, if you'd have said that I'd be doing that, a few years ago I'd have just said you were crazy. If you'd have said I'd been doing that a few months ago I'd have said you were crazy. Um, so you know set a goal, keep a goal and all that. That's for me that I think this is going to be life changing learning to swim and just being able to enter a triathlon if I want to and you know swim with the kids in the sea um, rather than just sort of wade into the sea um, which is what they got me to do last year. Um, I'll be able to go to the water park and go on all of the slides rather than just the one that has the rubber ring that you sit in because I was so afraid to put my face in the water and now I'm not, I don't like it still, um, you know, it still gets me a bit panicky but I'm proving to myself that I can do it and I'm capable of it and it's an amazing thing. Um, today has been all about prepping for the book launch. I can't tell you how nervous I am about this. It's like, oh, you know, I'm putting my life out there and it, a lot of it is stuff that nobody knows about. There is probably a handful of people in this world who know the things that I've written in this book. Um, and so it's, it's a huge thing to put out there. And, you know, there's, the following that I have on social media, people think that they know who I am and they know what I'm about, but I think you're all gonna be in for a, a huge surprise um, when you read it, if you read it. I've got it here. <laughs> the paperback is here, it's already selling. Um, the Kindle edition is already selling on um, Amazon, but look, it's here. And it's lovely and inside it's just pages and pages and pages of my writing. Um, it's split into different sections. So um, you saw the bit, you might have seen the bit that the body coach showed, um, which is the dedication, uh, which includes him. 
Um, then we've got part one, Becoming the Big Girl, which is kind of the bit that nobody knows about. Um, some bits you do, but a lot of it you don't. Um, so there's a good, a good number of chapters about Becoming the Big Girl. Then we go into um, A Big Girl's Journey to Lean, which is the bit that most of you who follow this vlog have followed. Um, so there won't be many surprises in there, although I do articulate the tummy tuck operation in some detail. And then there is a section that is the Lean Girl's Way. So that is all of the mindset tools and tricks and the self-love ninja stuff that I've created, some different... Um, methods that you can use to keep yourself motivated, to keep yourself inspired, to keep yourself on it. And then there is the unexpected epilogue at the back, which I never thought I would be writing, but I did. Um, and that talks about the things that happened to me last year, which some of you are aware of and some of you aren't. And then there's a section called um, Your Vibe Attracts Your Tribe, which is all the things that you've written. People that follow me, that have been part of my journey, have written extracts which are in the back. So there it is. Enough. A Big Girl's Journey to Lean. Um, it's already selling. I can't believe it. Um, there's obviously lots of people coming to the launch, which is happening in St Pancras at London. Um, and I'm just yeah genuinely nervous excited just waiting to see what this will bring um and hopefully it will help people i really really hope it helps people it certainly helped me writing it but it has been very very painful it looks very colorful on the front and very beautiful and very coffee table-esque but i can tell you that there are some very dark bits inside so be warned um I have got so much more to tell you, but I've already been going on now for seven minutes. So I will do another vlog um, in the next week or so um, with more updates and things that are going on. And on that note, I will leave you and I will speak to you.